All right, I escape shift chat YouTube. Now, this is a take on the list that Caleb D played in the MTGO Masters. The stipulation was that he had to play Flare of Cultivation. We don't have that stipulation here, so I completely cut the Flares and the Arboreal Grazers. Instead, we're playing a couple copies of Search for Tomorrow, four copies of Explorer, four copies of Steven, three Dryads, four Flage, two Scape Shifts, two Titans as our win conditions, mainly. You could win with, like, Natural Dryad plus the three Valakuts. I don't think you really need, like, more than three Valakuts in this list. But the main appeal of playing Naya is you get access to Wrath of the Skies and Galvanic Discharge along with Flage. And then obviously you got four copies of the One Ring because you're a Scape Shift deck and you just kind of want to stall for as long as possible until you hit seven or eight lands. And what card is best with Ring? Well, it's Flage. So I'm pretty excited to try this list. It looks really sweet. Uh, I didn't do a mountain count yet, so we're going to do that together, chat. How many mountains do we got? Three commercial districts, one elegant parlor, a forest, a plains, that's not mountains. Basics, we have a lot of basics in here. Which makes sense, because, you know, we have Steve. Looks like we have 13 mountains in this list. So, yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I'm excited. And then, for the sideboard, we got one copy of Celestial Purge, two Reprieves, one Anger of the Gods... Celestial Bridge for Necro, Reprieves for Cascade or for Control, Anger for the small creature decks like the War and Soul Trader or Yogmoth, maybe even bringing it against Nadu. One copy of Pick Your Poison for General Artifact Enchantment Removal, three Veil of Summer for Control, two Endurance for the Graveyard decks like Gorios and Living End, and then two Besejus for more generic Artifact Enchantment Removal, one Soul Guide Lantern for the Gorios, it's like the third Endurance. And then two copies of Curse Totem, I guess, for Yog. One land, but it's a Surveil land, but I can't cast Search for tomorrow. I think I shipped this hand. And this one is seven lands. Okay, we got a mix of lands and spells in this hand. Hmm, I gotta put back two. Maybe I'm putting back Flage and a land here. It could be Wrath in the land. Put back Wrath and Land. Seven lands is crazy. Yeah, I can keep this on top. It's a little bit of ramp. My opponent has cast Disciple the Vault. Why did I get rid of Wrath? Why did I get rid of Wrath, Chet? Why? Look at how wrathable my opponent's board is. They are going to let me flash this Disciple, which is sweet. Steven. I don't know if I'm in the market for a Steven at the moment. Disciple is mine. I can go get basic planes, and then... I'll have four other cards in the graveyard. I need one more to escape. A cast and something. Deadly Dispute. <clears throat> They're probably on a Warren Soul Trader list, if I had to guess. Oh, man. This energy wrath, though. Another disciple of the ball. I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't hope we draw a fetch so I can escape Flage and kill his disciple again. I will also take energy wrath, of course. That'd be probably the best draw, and then fetch land being second best. Could try to get lucky off the explorer, or I could play it safe and play ring. Target opponent lose one life. 
Next is Diamond Ring. The Drawn Primeval Titan. Off of the Explorer, so I'm kind of glad I didn't explore. Energy Wrath Waiting Room. Bound Ravager. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy schmoly. I love you, Energy Sweeper. I gotta do this for two. I'm still taking 7 damage. Or 8 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, I'm pretty sure it's 7. Making a construct. I was not making a construct. Put one more damage to me. Maybe they forgot it also blows up the saga. All right. Opponent has learned what the energy sweeper is, and it's probably very sad. Can I, uh, sub lands for these Besages? I'm realizing now Besages in the sideboard because of Ren and Six. I'm take the Ren and Sixes out. So I don't think they're great. Maybe I can sub some fetches. Probably not. I don't really want to cut mountains either. I'm actually going to sub a couple fetches here. Might be wrong. We'll try it though. We're up a game. What do we got to lose? I don't want to keep the discharges in though because the discharge is pretty good against the 1 1. Trim the search for tomorrow's. Stop bullying them. I can't. Bullying is in my nature. It's a little slow, but I could keep this. I'll try it. That is slow though. Don't want that. I think Flage is mid. Why? I think Flage is really good against the deck that's trying to, like, life drain me. It's a piece of interaction that gains me life. They dispute, I'm taking two, three, potentially four, five, six, seven. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, no, this isn't scales. If it were scales, then yeah, I agree. I pour one ring. I think I'm just dead. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Boy. They might not even kill this ring. They might just let it rock. I just let it happen. All right, I'm dead.
I just wrath this guy, so I don't really want to mulligan this hand. It seems like the best card in the matchup. I do have to find a few more lands here, though, and not Primeval Titans. My Wrath. They might take the Steve, but they're probably just going to take the Wrath. I guess the good news is that they only have Umpy take the Steve. Bold move opponent. Let's see if it pays off. They might have another thought too. That's why they did this. Yep, Ravager. We'll just keep this on top. Zap this. I can only grow to a 3-3 anyways. I think I leave this on top, even though it doesn't do much for me. In terms of progressing my lands. White source off the top. Well, I could just play Dryad. Nah, because if I play Dryad, then still can't sweep this up. I think I just flage the Apprentice. That's pretty good. Getting smacked for six. Okay, I really need a white source. I'm gonna drop a sage, you aren't I? Gonna have to jump block. They can spring leaf. They move over the boots. I block the one with the boots, and I'm taking nine. On white source. I'm a 28 land deck. Come on, white source. Fucking Basaju. I knew it. I knew I was going to draw Basaju chant. Because this should have been a windswept teeth. But I was like, oh, I'll take out the windswept teeth and bring in the Basajus. Oh, played myself. And his hands are clunky. I'm aware. But then I was like, oh, I don't want to die this Arcbound Ravager. I'm just going to kill this Arcbound Ravager instead. Thinking that I would have time to, like, have the Dryad live for a turn. But then they had the boots. Back those two. Might be able to wait a turn on the Steve. I think I'm gonna wait a turn on the Steve. Surveil, try to find a payoff. Not want that. I don't know if we're going to get double white here. Maybe. Steven. I think you're onto something, Janini. Maybe I should just concede. I don't know. On to something.
I could put that in the graveyard. And escape it the following turn. A double white, double red already. It might be faster than us in this matchup. That's tough. Yep. I don't think this flage is long for this world, though. I think it might be getting devoured. Big Break of Creation can replace Emrakul? No. Break of Creation is a fundamentally different card. That's not nearly as good. The appeal of Breaker of Creation is that it's a land also, right? It's the one I'm thinking of anyways. Yeah, Annihilator 2 with Hexproof from all colors is nice, but it's not Emrakul. It also doesn't have like a meaningful cast trigger. I think it could be nice as like a one of to gain some life off a of ring. But it doesn't have like an actual real cast trigger. Is that card even a land? I don't remember anymore. God. I think we're a little dead. Qualifier points allow you to enter showcase challenges, which are like uh, things that qualify you for the regional championships, or they let you qualify for the Magic Online Championship Series, and the Daybreak account doesn't let you use them. And then at the end of the season, it lets you also enter Vintage Cube, but it's mostly just for showcases and super qualifiers. I'm dead, are we? Very? Please stop dunking on me, opponent. I just wanna live. Second world breaker taking out my ring. If I draw explore and escape shift. I think that's what I have to draw to win this game. Explore and escape shift. We're going to take control of my turn with Emrakul. I think I'm going to spend both of these Galvanics just to gain some energy. In case I draw Wrath, maybe. Those Myco spawn. Interesting that they didn't choose ring, because I think the only way they lose this game is if they um don't have ring protection. I've drawn three lands. Two... 
three, four, five, six mountains in the deck. Escape shift. Two, three, four, five. Does Primeval Titan do it? I don't think so. Actually, yeah, it does, right? No, it doesn't. I need exactly escape shift. How about Steven? I don't feel like Basage is like a wasted sideboard slot without Ren and Six. I should have just taken it out. Kind of forgot they were in the sideboard. Reprieve seems poor. Most of this seems poor against them. I don't think we fare very well against the uh, Sewing Micro Spawn deck. I could bring in the Besages over some Discharges, though. Discharge kind of does nothing. At this guy's also doesn't do much. I guess I bring in the Reprieves. Not thrilled about it, though. I could also bring in Soul Guide Lantern because they're the Emrakul version. Leaving like one Wrath. Fortunately, this deck has looked better on paper than it has in testing. I think it's just kind of built poorly at the same time, though. Should have changed up the sideboard some more. You can play Bending. Bending's not the worst. But because you have the Energy Sweeper, I think you want to just, like, be focusing on playing more energy-based removal. Hence the four discharges. Prismatic ending would be good here, though. What's up, Extreme? Possible the Primeval Titans just are bad, too. I haven't cast one yet. Yeah, this was a Blood Moon deck. I have one forest. They bring in those Besages. I'm not drawing completely dead here. Only mostly. I want to cycle this. I think I just need to play it. The only Eldrazi deck playing Blood Moon. Well, this is embarrassing. Some cabs. Good old Blood Moon. It's important to keep yourself on your toes, you know? I get rid of my force, I'm gonna scoop. I can't beat that. Yeah, sure, we'll try it. Yeah, I only have one forest. Tough. The rack, huh? I want double white, but I also want like the green source to play explorer. I think I grab stomping ground. Explore parlor. Leave another explore on top and then we'll go from there. Let's me have double white. I can have explore into Steve if I don't need to wrath here. 
need more explorers. Yeah, I think this list needs to be rebuilt for sure. I'm getting scammed. Bye guys, it's been real. Name's Arid Mesa. Eight Lord of the Rings card, the One Ring. I dryad. Yeah, I sack the elder now. Attack, whatever. Um Two, three. I'm trying to decide if I want to play the Sacred Foundry. Do I need a second rack? I probably don't. Is wrong with bringing my upkeep deal me less damage? No. The same. I could cycle that too if I only do it for two. All right. Wrath this guy's claims another saga deck. I don't even know if I want angry the gods. Definitely want these veils though. Yeah, if you draw the cards that are released this year, like Flage and Wrath Disguise and the One Ring, this deck's pretty good. However, yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know about the rest of these cards. Maybe two Steves. Search for tomorrow out. Got to draw more cards that were released this year. Simple as that. Oh, look, cards that were released this year. Um. Yeah, sure. I don't have turn one veil, but I mean, they can thought seize me anyways. Now I have turn one veil. Get bowed. Second veil. I guess I leave it on top. I don't think I mind a second green source here. Holy schmoly. That a Lilian of the Veil? I think I might discard Flage. The rack is such an anomaly of a deck to me. I 
in trouble. I don't even know if I am. I think I'm probably okay. You got a bow master. I can veil this, right? Separate all permanent target player controls into two piles. You gain hex proof from blue and black. Interesting that they ticked it up. And they knew Flage was a common. I can't even edict me either. I get rid of the wooded foothills. Oh, that seems good. Did it. We won a match. All it took was multiple copies of Veil of Summer against the Mono Black discard deck. One's playing Jund. Jund and Jund accessories. The spend and pass. Oof. This deck should have a temple garden. I don't know if it can afford a temple garden. Because sometimes you need double green, double white. Which is a little tough. Doomwake and Spike were also playing decks that couldn't buy a match. I heard Doomwake save four hours into the stream as our first prediction. That was the only part of Doomwake stream that I got today. I search for tomorrow. What was Spike playing today? Madcap Eldrazi. Man's lost in the sauce. He lost one bet. And then he lost himself in the sauce. That's a pretty good draw. I think my favorite part about Nethergoyf is that you don't have to worry about the whole, like, bolting a Tarmogoyf situation. I'm not even going to bring up the Pro Tour stuff either, now that that's resurfaced. Oh, I remember. Goyfgate. Man, Tarmogoyf has caused a lot of problems in Pro Tours, huh? I was mad that it wasn't me. I think a lot of people were mad that it wasn't them. I 
find a twenty dollar bill in my pack and I'd be mad how they folded it. <laughs> I'm gonna die, chat. Okay, maybe I die a little less. All right, dying slightly less. I have another bowmaster here. Going to eight. Push. Play Valakut, play Titan. Two, three, four, five. I can also just get Valakut, Valakut here. It's probably better than play Commercial District. Kill both of these Raptors. All right, I need to not take four damage. Can I not take four damage? Yeah, you practice for hours, Janini. It's impressive. Gotta not get Bowden bolted. How does that even happen? <laughs> what the hell? Ah, uh, despair. I don't think I like Primeval Titan. I think Primeval Titan should probably just be more copies of Scape Shift. How does that even happen? Today we jund them out, boys. I got jund it out. Basic forest pass. Nothing conspicuous here. Works every time. Leave that on top. Works every time. Oof. And purge doesn't work on that, it's over. Don't thought seize my wrath of the skies, please. Ouch. It's not a fun fact for my opponent, though. They're probably not very happy about that. The facts are always fun. That one's purgeable.
Over three and a half feet tall. I don't know if that's true. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flash. This is probably fine, right? I could bring in Soul Guide Lantern. Nah, yeah, this is fine. I think it's kind of mid, but I'm gonna try it. We'll try it. I could bluff Vale of Summer here, but they didn't thought he's me on turn one, so... I don't know if I get much equity by bluffing Vale of Summer. Even save me. Yeah, I can't beat Ren and Six, you're right. Nobody's ever beaten a Ren and Six. Or lived to tell the tale for that matter. Amped Raptor. Nether Goyf. It's a 1 2. Yeah, they are playing eight glyph. But it also doesn't appear that they're having a great time playing eight glyph because they're O2. I don't think I want that. Yeah, maybe I should have kept it actually. But I have two escape shifts and I need two discard spells. Challenge is in about half an hour. Try it. Maybe 9, 10, 11. 12. Cast my escape shift card. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of thirteen, I have six left. Save targets. Always yes, always yield. Your old Titan creativity deck earlier today, I wanted to get your opinions on any updates to it. What are they hitting? A Valakut. Yes, yes. Alright. Finish up this league. Um, I think creativity is in a very poor spot. Doctor Snack Bar. Necropotence was legal in modern. It would be considered the best card. 
Well, given that Necrodominance is a nerfed version of Necropotence and it's already considered one of the best cards, yeah, probably. Like Wrath or Discharge. I'm gonna put back... You know, Wrath's been really good this league. I'm gonna keep the Wrath over the Discharge. Honor will be sweet once they make a few adjustments to said bird. I don't think I've seen anybody say Nadu shouldn't be banned. You're okay with the bird? Alright, except for you. I think everything else is pretty fine, except for the bird. The thing I hate about the bird is that you can't kill it without it gaining value. That's the part that upsets me. If you could kill it without it triggering, it'd be fine, but it just triggers twice. If they have a Shuku out and they play the bird, and you, they equip it, and then you kill it, they get two cards from it. Like, why? Got blocked. I didn't even see what it was. Auto mod gotcha. I don't know why Pod's still banned. I don't know why Twin's still banned. Couldn't tell you. Win back would be effed up. I don't know about that. It kind of just doesn't do much. The other decks like Storm are just killing you on turn two. Challenge starts in 20 minutes. Oh, Masters. Giga Chad main phase Bow Masters. Oh, so we have a Detective Phoenix. I didn't even see that. I want to go to four. I guess I can just get a mountain because my lands tap for any color. Right. This card is Root Walla. Cycles of Street Wraith. We're talking about how bad of a card Winter Moon is. That was a card everybody was like so hyped about. They're like, oh, Winter Moon's busted. It's going to warp the format. And it did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Land. Lege. Right. Put him in one play anymore. So they're on Hollow Vine. 
probably. Bowmaster, Burning and Quarry stuff. Probably cut these Primeval Titans. Maybe I want Anger of the Gods and Endurance. Soul Guide Lantern and uh, Celestial Purge. Explorer seems kind of poor when they have Bowmaster. Maybe I want Veil of Summer. Like a one of. Keep his put back escape shoes. I don't know. I haven't been impressed with Winter Moon. I haven't seen him really do anything except for against Phoenix in our playtesting between me and Spike. Did a lot in that matchup, that's for sure. And then nobody played Phoenix anyways. I lose. Opponent's luckier than I am. And I beat a 4-4. No, it starts in August. I lost everything that wasn't lands. On the bright side, I get to escape my Flage on turn 4. Yeah, I don't understand it either, Jiffy. They might do a ban announcement next week. We'll see. Angry Gods. It might be next week, might wait until August. I will tell. Taking a lot of damage this turn. Seven. Yeah, wait until the middle of RCQ season and then be like, oh, we can't do it now because it's the middle of RCQ season. It's genius. A perfect plan. Yo, Darkest Mage, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We are currently playing match number five in this league with Naya Escape Shift. It's been going okay. Kind of. Eh, we're 2 2. Spy Master's Vault, Cycle Street Wraith. It's Flage. What do you think of the mono red energy deck? The prowess build? Hollow D's. Aren't you in Vegas, Hotashi? Why are you here? Go enjoy Vegas. I haven't seen it, Ponkless. I only know the prowess building. If I don't like it, I'll take a look. But can't say I'm very familiar. Can you beat a flage opponent? Nope. Couldn't beat a flage. Oh, congrats, believers. I think my sideboard was really poor. That's my, uh, takeaway from this league. Primeval Titan sucked, and my sideboard sucked. That's evasion. Uh, yeah, I would just cut these Primeval Titans for sure. I'd probably play a third scape shift and maybe a third search for tomorrow. On the sideboard, I would definitely take out the Besages. And the Cursed Totems. That was fine. These were fine. I would take out the Pick Your Poison. I'd probably play a second Celestial Purge. Maybe another Anger of the Gods. I don't know if you need Reprieves. 
These seven were bad. These eight were good, I think. Yeah, I need more Flage. Flage five and six. Turns out Flage keeps winning me games. All right, now we got to figure out how we want to build Boros energy for this challenge that's coming up in 10 minutes. I wonder how many... Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore.